Hi, I'm John Hinchy, a consultant with Logan Consulting, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create auto number fields on the account, contact, and opportunity entities in Microsoft Dynamics 365. Within Microsoft Dynamics 365 for sales, you can use the auto number functionality to give a unique identifier to many records for certain entities. Navigate to Settings, Administration, and click Auto Number. Here you can see that certain entities like contracts, cases, articles, quotes, orders, and invoices all are allowed to put a unique identifier on, giving a prefix, a number, and a suffix length. But what if, for example, you want to put a unique identifier on one of the main entities, like account, contact, or opportunity? What if you treat your opportunities like jobs and you want a job number? For example, the first job you create, you need to be called Job 101. The second job you create, you need to be called Job 102, and so on. Well now, with CodePlex, Microsoft's free open source project hosting site, you can download a solution to put an auto number on any entity. Simply navigate to the CodePlex site and search for the CRM 2015-2016 auto number and download the solution. Save this to your computer, go back to your CRM, and navigate to Settings, Solutions, and import your newly downloaded CodePlex solution. Choose your file. It's called Counter 1205 Managed. Click Next. Click Next again. Make sure Enable Any SDK Message Processing Steps is checked and click Import. After about a minute, your file will finish importing. Click Close and publish all customizations. Once finished publishing, click the drop down next to settings and you'll see your new entity called counter configurations in your extensions. Click on it and click new to create a new configuration. Now, we'll set up the entity name. This is opportunity. Note that it must be case sensitive. Field name. Here, I've created a new field called job number. You must create a field to house your new auto number field. For length, let's use 8. For next number, we're going to use 100. So we'll start at number 100. Increment by as many as you want. Most people will use 1. And 0 pad, we're going to choose no. If you keep zero pad as yes, it will insert zeros where there are no other numbers. It may be more visually appealing to change it to no. For prefix, set a prefix, we're going to put job dash, and we're going to save and close. Note that if you have any errors, it will prompt you to fix these errors before you are able to save and close. Here we have a business process error. It says that job number field does not exist. This error is because our casing on the field name. It's very sensitive, so we have to turn it to lowercase j and lowercase n. Now, we'll click save and close again. This time we receive no error message, so we'll navigate to an opportunity, create new, test auto number. See, here's our job number field. Save. You can see that job-100 is automatically populated. Note that it will be important to keep this as a read-only field. For all of your Microsoft Dynamics consulting needs, visit us at www.loganconsulting.com, email us at info at loganconsulting.com, or call us at 312 345 8800.